Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gosker application staff with another tip for you for the Akuma OSP P300M control. It's been noticed that if you physically remove a tool from the spindle manually, the machine does not want to make a tool change. Basically it thinks that there's still a tool in the spindle, however the sensors are indicating that it is not there, so it makes it difficult for you to unload tools if you're utilizing the spindle. This procedure will help you whether you have a horizontal, a vertical, or a 5-axis. As long as it's a P300M control, this procedure will work for you. The first thing we need to do is go to our parameter page. That's the P button with the arrow on it. And generally the first page that comes up is your common variables. We need to make sure that our uh, parameter page is not masked all available parameters are there. So the first thing we're going to do is use the F8 display change key. Now if I arrow over one time, I'll get the button that says menu change. If I click on that, put a check mark in the all display column and click on OK. What that'll do is it will make sure that every parameter that's available to you is shown on the list. You can reverse that procedure when you're done if you've gone through and screened out some of the parameters you don't want. So we're now going to scroll down until we find the parameter that's related to tool change and I believe it's about uh, 50 something right here. Nope, number 60 on my machine. It may be a little different for yours, but ATC tool exchange. If you tap that and close, now we've got the tool exchange parameter screen. The parameter that we want is not shown on the first page, but by using the page down key on your control, you'll get to page two of four and we're looking for number 17, MDI mode, no tool interlock is released. If I touch it, touch the menu button, and apply a check mark there, now the machine will go through and make a tool change even if the spindle is empty. This parameter is a power on parameter, so if you check mark it today, power off your machine, it will uncheck itself while the machine's powered off. So each time you power on the machine, you will have to change this. Generally, I tell people to do it as needed. As long as you've got a check mark there, you can make a tool change with an empty spindle. Hope that helps, and if you have any problems, please contact your local Gossiger application staff.